Transgender residents in Broward County have extra protection tonight. The Broward County Commission voted to extend certain benefits and discrimination policies to cover transgenders. Janine Stanwood shows us how much it means to those who fought for this change. Can you hike it up your pants? <laughs> Tobias Packer takes after his dad, the eyes, that smile. Except Tobias wasn't born a man. When I was born, the doctor looked at me and said, oh, that's a beautiful baby girl. People knew me in the world as a girl. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a point in my life where it didn't feel right. He's transgender, like this pageant winner or this community activist. And tonight, in a unanimous vote, Broward County commissioners are giving them civil rights protection. For some, it has been an emotional battle. For Tobias, it could have been a fight for life. About two years ago, I had to go to the hospital. In the ambulance, he says, the EMT didn't want to help. Imagine, you know, anyone wanting to go to the hospital, needing to go to the hospital, needing urgent medical care, being terrified, having an EMT tell you, well, you're a freak, I don't want to touch you. Now it will be illegal to deny housing, jobs, or medical care to anyone who is transgender. And although Tobias is putting himself out there in magazines and he has a loving family, he knows others will need the extra protection. I'm lucky. I'm really lucky because a lot of trans people are not as lucky as me. Well, you can't legislate human behavior and against prejudice, this is still a step in the right direction to get gender identity issues into the mainstream. Critics have said that you don't need more laws on the books, but Dwight, there were not many of them here today.